I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you have a set at home, you can do this exercise too. You just have to be able to compartmentalize your decision making. Pretend like you don't know what's in everybody's hand. If you can do that, you can benefit from this exercise. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14, South, West, and North will get 13 each. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. For American Mahjong, building around multiples is the strength of any strategy. So I think with the threes, we could do something consecutive or little odds. If we get nines, we might be able to do something with three, six, nine. Let's pass these three. So either consecutive, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, or three, six, nine, or little odds with one, three, five. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. We're at the category level. Three categories, three, six, nine, one, three, five, or consecutive run. Let's see what we can do for South. We have a pair of sixes. We're gonna build around the sixes. So out of the remaining tiles, I'm thinking three, six, nine might work. Three, six, nine. We could maybe do two, four, six, eight, two. We have two discards. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six versus six. Because of where the nines are, I don't think we need all the threes. Let's give up one of the threes. And we could either play either two, four, six, eight, or three, six, nine. Two categories. We'll see what happens. ones like numbers with ones or one two consecutive run or we could maybe do something with the dragon let's pass those three okay so here we have north south dragons two eight here's a pair of sevens I was thinking we could do either like numbers or a year hand. We have two tiles to pass, so we have to, we have to decide now. I think the year hand with news even might be good. And that would leverage those dragons. Let's keep the seven. We could recover like numbers maybe later. So we're ready to pass now. North passes to east, east to south, south to west, and west to north. So we're looking for three, four, five, six consecutive run maybe, or little odds. One, three, five is little odds. If you look in the odds category, there are really uh, two hands that span one three five seven nine the entire range otherwise you have either one three five which i call little odds or five seven nine which i call big odds in this case we have three five we have a gap though of no one so i think probably consecutive run is going to be stronger let's pass those three 
So we're looking for either 369 or 2468. We did get an 8. So let's put it in 2468 mode right there. 2468 or 369. 2468. Let's see here. I'm wondering if maybe consecutive might even be better. 6789. Let's pass those three and focus on 2468 or 6789. We got a one. Like numbers with ones is kind of what I'm thinking here. Maybe a quint. One, three, one, two, three, quint. We'd have to throw away flowers, so I want to use these flowers. Let's keep the dragon. We could play like numbers with dragons. Let's pass those three. We're looking for year tiles. We did get a south. Let's break it up and focus on either the year or winds and dragons. So we did right. Now we're going to go across east and west pass and then north and south. We got a three, two, three, four, five. There's a six. We have a south. Three, four, five, three, five, three, four, five, six. Consecutive run. Three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of the six and the eight. Here we want six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's give up the two. Six. Let's see. Six, seven, eight, five, six, seven. We still could maybe do something with three, six, nine. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's give up the three. Focus on consecutive run here. We want nine uh, ones. We didn't get any keepers. We're looking for a year or wins. We have tiles to pass. Okay, so we went across. Now we're going to do first left. East passes up to north. North to west, west to south, south to east. Here's a two, two, three, four, five. Let's see, we have two pairs of fives here. Three, five, one, three, three, five. Let's see, three, four, five, six. I'm going to use the fives though. Five, five, three. Let's see here, one, three, five, one, three, three, five, two, three, four, five, six, joker bait, two, three, four, five, six, joker bait, two, three, four, five, six. That would be the, the let's see, third hand or the middle hand under consecutive run, fourth hand down. Or we could do three, four, five, six. We are getting ready to go across, so we have to pass. Let's give up the five. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a seven and a nine. We'll pass the north. Now we have to decide. Let's see here. We have eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. That would leverage both multiples. Or we could do five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just use a process of elimination. 
to figure out what you can do. Let's pass those three. Okay, here we go. No keepers. Okay, we got a south. North, east, south. We did pick up six and an eight. That's not gonna be helpful though. I'm kind of thinking we should maybe play even a quint if we can pair up north and south. Let's give up on the year and pass those three. Let's play Winds and Dragons or Quint. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna do, oh, we're on second left. Okay, we're gonna keep going. So east passes to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. No keepers. Oh, we got a seven, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, six, seven, eight, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's give up that eight. One, two, one, two, one, two with flowers, concealed consecutive run or like numbers with ones. Let's give up the one. We've got two, three, five. Let's pass those three and keep the two, who knows. Okay, so that was second left. Now we're gonna go across east and west and then north and south. Okay, one, don't need it. Six, don't need it. Eight, don't need it. No keepers. Okay, we got an eight. Six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, three, five. We could maybe do something knitted. Six, seven, eight. Or we could do six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, if we get flowers. Okay, we're gonna do Last right is next. I think seven, eight, nine. Let's see, six, seven, eight knitted or seven, eight, nine knitted or seven, eight, seven, eight. That's two pair we'd have to get rid of. Let's pass the seven bam to get a full pass. No keepers. We got the eight back. Okay, no keepers. So that was second across. Now we're gonna do last right. So east passes to south, south to west, west to north, and north to east. Okay, three. I don't know if that's gonna be helpful. Three, eight, three, four. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Or three, four, three, four. We could pass those. We got the eight back. Oh, we got a six. Six, seven, eight, knitted joker bait. I would not pass like numbers. Seven, eight, nine, yeah, let's pass those two. No keepers. Although we could do one, two, three. We really don't need this one cry or a red dragon. Let's keep the three. Here we got a north. North, south. Let's keep the odds, or actually let's pass them. We could use these as joker bait and play the noose concealed hand maybe and do a full pass. That was last right. Now we're gonna do optional cross. 
So east and west pass, and then north and south. They only want two. So let's pass, doesn't really matter. Let's pass these two. Okay. Red, let's see, three, four, woo, we got the five back. Three, four, five, six. I think I would just hold all these. Consecutive run, three, four, five, six. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. Two, three, four, five, six, maybe. We can pass those or discard those. We're done with the Charleston. Okay, nine, ma'am. Here we have seven, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a nine. I would just start probably by discarding the two and see what happens. Consecutive run. Here, oh, we got that three. One, two, three, mixed suit Kongs. We have two discards. And we did get a one and an eight for potential year. I would start by discarding the seven bam, or seven dot here. Okay, so we're done with the Charleston. Now we're gonna do picking and discarding. I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. So we're gonna discard for East. Let's start by discarding the red. Red dragon, we're gonna draw four South. Two dot, man, yeah, let's discard the two crack. And we're gonna draw. There, I would not commit to that two crack. The one two potential here is concealed anyway. I would draw. Oh, there's a two. We can use this as joker bait. Let's pass or discard this eight dot. Flowers, one, two, one, two, concealed under consecutive run. Or we could do one, two, three, Kongs. Let's draw. Nine dot. None of these are helpful. Let's get rid of the eight crack and draw for east. West, let's discard the wind. If you're not using winds, get rid of them early. With news on the card, you wanna get rid of winds if you're not gonna use them. We're gonna draw two crack, we'll discard that. Okay, here, we need to decide already. One, two, one, two, or we could do the one, two, three, mix suit Kongs for that two crack. We would have to use our joker. There's already a two out. I would let it go and focus on concealed. Green. One, two, green. Let's discard the five dot. Two dot. Let's discard this nine dot. Maybe they could go back to that year hand. Let's draw green, seven bam. Drawing here, three dot, we don't need that. Let's see, eight dots out, let's throw that and draw. Six dot, we don't need that. One crack. Maybe north and south with ones. It's a long shot. Seven dot. Keep your options open. Red. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, three, four. Joker bait. Let's get rid of the dragons. Red. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Eight ma'am. Okay, I'm thinking even though we have a gap, six, seven, eight, we can use this joker for the red. There are two out though. Let's see. Either way, we don't need any of these. Let's throw the two dot. Four bam. This is a, these are pairs. Six crack. West. That's the second West and they need it. Maybe. Three bam. Three, six, nine. Look at all those eights. Let's discard the three dot. 
since there are two two cracks out I don't think I would take that three dot I think I would try for the concealed hand seven bam five bam Joker that's gonna be helpful let's throw the green dragon I'm thinking two three four five six we're gonna draw seven dot six eight seven we really don't need this three either let's get rid of the seven dot though and draw six crack Joker. Okay, that's going to be nice if we need that for news. Let's discard the two dot. And we just finished the second wall. We're going into the middle game now. Everybody should know at least what category they're in. We've got consecutive run, consecutive run, consecutive run wins. white I don't think that's going to be helpful if you're not using dragons get rid of them right away we're going to draw nine crack okay we don't need this three bam let's discard that and then we'll draw up here so here we need to decide on something since there's reds out already maybe we should play seven eight nine knitted with green dragons and use these as joker bait Okay, let's draw five dot. And we're gonna draw here. Now this player here, two, three, four, five, six, or three, four, five, six. This is really light in multiples, so I would not take that. It would use our only jokers. Let's draw one bam, north and south with ones. There are no ones out yet. Let's get rid of these white dragons. Flower. Flower. Okay, we have to figure something out now. Let's see. Three, four. Three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of this five dot. So we're going to have to decide pretty soon. Let's draw white. Nobody wants whites. North. Now here, we need to decide. Let's Kong it and try for north and south with ones. Or we could do news. Let's get rid of the white dragon. Let's draw south. Get rid of it soon, especially with the Kong out. Let's Kong it. Now this is kind of risky because we have no pairs in here. But we're committed now. Let's discard the flower. Flower. Okay, flower. This is concealed. And this may be concealed. Let's draw. Now we have flowers. Okay, we need to decide now. I'm wondering if we should switch to like numbers with threes and flowers. Let's see. Three. We don't have any nines. Three, four, three, four, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of the four crack and draw six dot oh let's see i don't think that's going to be helpful down here we're going to kong it it's going to be really risky we've got joker bait with flowers let's see what happens so let's four four 
four, we need to discard three crack. So we're gonna commit to two, three, four, five, six. Two BM. This hand is kind of dwindling. Let's see, one, two, three. Let's get rid of this green dragon. Nobody can take it. We're gonna draw one. Ah, let's discard that east and draw down here. Three crack. One dot. Drawing here. Ooh, six bam. Nobody wants it, that's probably safe. Seven dot, eight crack. Seven bam. Okay, what do we got here? Six, seven, eight. We don't need this nine. Let's see here. Six, seven, eight, nine quint. <laughs> Seven, nine. Oh man, let's see, there's two green dragons out. Let's let's go ahead and give get rid of that seven crack and let's switch to a potential six, seven, eight. If we can get a flower in Kongs, maybe. Let's draw. Eight crack. We need ones. Ooh, flower. Okay. North and south. Let's see, we would need red dragons. There are two out. There's no way we're gonna get it. Let's throw the flower. Okay, nobody wants the flowers. Let's draw. Six crack. One dot. Okay, there's two one dots out. Red. That's the third red out. Good thing they didn't commit. They got that one. One. We're going to throw the joker. Same. Ready on a one crack. North and south with ones. Five dot. Discard. Oh, I would love to get a seven bam. Seven crack. Oh, we just threw the seven crack. And the reds are all out. Let's keep going. Seven crack. Drawing here. Seven dot. Green. That's what they kind of needed. North. We're going to exchange it. That could make it pure, though. We're desperate, though. Three flower. Okay, drawing. Two dot. Drawing here. Nine bam. They're not ready for it. Four dot. Pure hand. That joker exchange, probably not a good idea. Nine crack. We really needed it though for this five. Okay, let's draw. Nine dot, discard. East, let's discard that. Drawing six crack. Drawing four, player one. Eight bam. Okay, here. I would not Kong that. They have no flowers. I was thinking maybe they could play six, seven, eight Kongs, but they have no flowers. Maybe we should just do it. Surely they would draw a flower. We're going into the fourth wall. Nah, let's stay concealed. West. They could always switch to defense. A crack. Joker. Same. 
you just say same, five crack, throwing a flower, nobody wants it, four dot, nine dot, eight dot, east, oh, I should have gotten rid of that flower, five bam, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's get rid of the seven crack, five bam, up here, seven crack, safe discard, let's get rid of the flower, oh look, five crack, flower, okay, they need a two bam or a four bam very badly, 9 bam. Look at that 5 through 9 hand came in. Let's discard that 9 crack. How many 5 bams are out? 2. This hand is viable. 9 dot. 4 crack. 2 bam. 2, 3, 4. Same. One crack. The nine crack was thrown. Actually, this is this is viable. Let's get rid of the one crack. And that would be Mahjong. North and south with ones. Pure hand. This player made it pure by exchanging that joker, but they got ready. Ready on a four bam. This hand was three away, and they still had joker bait, but that's probably safe because nobody wanted it. This hand was going to be one, two, one, oops, one, two, one, two, joker bait, four crack. Everybody was looking pretty good, but we're in the end game. Pure hand, 60 points. So... Very interesting. That that committing with single ones was really risky, but it paid off. If you would have done anything differently during that game, Put the timestamp and what you would have done. I know I made a few risky moves. Number one, exchanging that joker, making that hand pure. Really risky, but they got ready. And then the other was committing to that north and south hand with single ones. Would you have done that? Pretty risky. And then also for west, I did not call that two crack early on, and I probably should have for that mixed suit Kong hand. That might have been a better choice than going concealed. Sometimes playing it safe doesn't pay off. Let me know what you thought about that solitaire game. I'm going to watch it again and see if I can learn some things. And if you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. I really think it is great practice for decision making. You just got to be able to compartmentalize and play as if you don't know what's in everybody's hand. If you can do that, you can benefit. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.